Joanne Howard. Come on down. You are our next contestant on the Price is Right. Hi, Joanne. Hi. How very nice to see you. How very nice <laughs> to see you all. It's very nice to see everybody, and it's nice to see this next one bid prize. Have a look at this. A home exercise bike. Cycle your way to fitness with this exercise bike. It has five speeds, a height adjuster, and mileometer, so any member of the family can keep in trim. Joanne, what is your bid on the exercise bike? 75 pounds. 75 pounds, says Joanne. Anna. 110 pounds. 110 pounds, says Anna. Beverly, what do you think? 105 pounds. One. 105 pounds. 105 pounds, says Beverly. Ralph, what do you think? Uh, 96. 96 pounds, says Ralph. The actual price that we're looking for is 154 pounds. Anna! You've done it! One double brass bed. Very pleasant, isn't it? Yes, very nice. Yes, it is. Joanne, we're going to play pick a pair, please. We're going, we're going to play pick a pair. There are six items there, all different. We're going to show them to you and describe them to you. And for the purposes of this game, they are in three pairs. And each item in the pair is valued at the same price. What we want you to do is pick a pair, two items which are valued at the same price. You do that, you take home a brass bed, or we'll get it home for you. First of all, listen to the description of the items. A deep fat fryer. Electrically controlled and with a fresh air control for delicious quick frying with no mess. A blue enamel bread bin to keep your cobs crusty. An electric citrus juicer for your early morning orange juice. An electric auto kettle which boils in double quick time. And a giant sized bone china cup and saucer for the biggest drink of the day. And finally, a set of electric hair rollers. Compact for travel, giving you great hairstyles when you're on the go. Right, now then, Joanne. There is a list of the items. You name me one item that you think you can match with its pair of the same price. Just one. I'll tell you what the price is and then you see if you can match it. Today would be good. <laughs> um, bread bin. The bread bin. One bread bin is valued at 25 pounds. Now, which is the other item that you think is valued at 25 pounds? The kettle, you think, has a value of 25 pounds. It hasn't, but that is not the end of the story because we're going to give you one last chance. Now, one of those has got to go because they don't match. Mm. Which one are you going to jettison and which one are you going to pin your faith in? Which one are you going to get rid of? Uh, the bread bin is going. We've lost all faith in the bread bin, haven't we? <laughs> Quite right. Now then, which do you think of those prizes is also valued at 19 pounds? The juicer. Right. Now, is it valued at 19 pounds? No. pounds? Well, we know it wasn't that. Was it the deep fat fryer? Yes, that's what it should have been. And it wasn't that, and it wasn't that. But that's what should have gone with that. Never mind. We are going to play supermarket. All is not lost. <laughs> This is to decide, of course, who joins Jane in our showcase final. This is how we do it. A little brief resume of the rules. When we start the clock, we want each of you to select up to four separate items that you hope will make a total in value of £20. When we stop the clock, the person who is nearest to £20, either above or below, joins Jane in our showcase final. Fifteen seconds to do all that, starting now. Right, 
Joanne, we have here a combination slicer and chipper, five pounds, and a pair of scales at six pounds, and a container for glass, uh, for flowers, I mean, in glass, five pounds, and one towel at six pounds, making a grand total of... 22 pounds. Well, it's not bad. Not bad. Joanne, you take home a wrought iron plant stand, and I hope you take home some many happy memories of the show, yes, do you? Thank you? Bless your heart. Jane, you have won three deck chairs, a parasol, a red beach table, four chairs, a tubular shelving, Adam's china, a brass onyx clock, and a picnic basket and rug, a folding table and four chairs, and a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> what was that last little confiding remark? I said I'll have to learn to drive now. You can't drive? <laughs> well, of course you'll have to learn to drive. We, pardon? My husband can. He can drive. Well, thank heavens, one of you can drive. We sincerely hope you've had a lovely time tonight. Mm. I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to see you next week when once again I will be able to say, as always, come on down, the price is right.